Hi everyone, my name is Zoe and welcome to our video tutorial today on the Owner Login feature. For those of you who are licensed for the Owner Payment module, you'll also receive the added benefit of being able to allow your owners to log in via your new book online page, to view any bookings they have for their properties, and to even make their own owner bookings. In order for your owners to log in online, you need to ensure you first have them set up as an owner in NewBook and that they also have a contract attached to the property that they own. This will ensure that when they log in online, they're only able to view existing bookings for the particular property that they own. In addition to that, they'll only ever be able to make owner bookings for that property as well. Using our menu search in the top left, we're going to search and open our owners page. Once this is loaded, if you have existing owners that have been set up, they'll be listed below. If you do need to create a brand new one from scratch, simply use the add owner button in the top bar. If you would like further information on how to create an owner and a contract, please do not hesitate to watch our owner payment video tutorial for further info. With today's scenario, we'll simply be editing an existing owner and enabling the online login option. Clicking into Rebecca's name, we're simply going to select the edit owner in the top bar. Once the edit owner page has loaded, we'll be able to see all details relating to Rebecca, such as her first name, last name, her bank details for her owner payout information, and below we even have her contact details. Moving across, there's a tab called online login. What we'll need to do is click into this section, and this is where we're able to set a username and a password. The username needs to be set with an email address, therefore we do recommend if they have an email on file to copy this in and use this as their username. Once we have this set, we can then enter the password and verify on the right hand side. If you are unsure how many characters it needs to be, simply highlight over the question mark and it'll tell you exactly what requirements must be met in order for the password to be saved successfully. Bear in mind this is a temporary password we're able to set for the owner. They are able to log in under this initial and they can update their details once they're online, provided you give them access to. Moving down, we have three settings we can enable or disable, depending on what we want our owner to be able to view once they log in online. The first is our correspondence and statement options, which is currently on no. If we have this on yes, and we've sent her any owner payout statements, she will be able to see those online. If we change it to no, she's not going to have access to them. If we head over to the left, we'll see bookings, which is currently on no, meaning she's not going to be able to see at this stage any bookings that have been placed for the property that she owns. We want to change this to yes so that she can keep an eye on how busy she's getting throughout the year. The last setting we have in our online login tab is our owner profile. If you hover over the question mark, you'll be able to see that it simply advises us that owners can add and edit a default guest profile for faster placing of bookings. Bookings. If we leave this on no, the owner is not going to be able to update their personal guest profile that is used to make bookings in NewBook. Therefore, if we want them to be able to make bookings and we want them to update their password and also update any contact information, we want to enable this to yes. The last area I'm going to point out is our owner guest tab. Once we click into here, you'll notice we have the option to search for an existing guest profile within the system. Ideally, we can search and select Rebecca King if she's already been set up as a guest before she was ever an owner in the new book system. Once we select her, when she makes her owner bookings, this is the profile that will attach to those for her. If Rebecca was not already set up as a guest within your system, all you need to do is select the plus sign on the right to create a new guest profile for her. As we've enabled the owner profile section here to edit and add, she'll also be able to update these details once she's logged in online. As we've now completed all areas, all we need to do is select save and our owner will now have access to login via the owner login page. In order for your owners to successfully log in via the owner login feature, we recommend that you send them an email from the NewBook system that has their temporary login credentials. This email can also contain a link that directs them straight onto the owner login page. With today's scenario, I'll be taking us into our contact template feature to show you an existing template I've created that gets sent to owners with their generic login details. Once we've had a look at this, I'm then going to take us into our owners page to show you exactly how we can send these off to them. Using our menu search in the top left, we're going to search and locate our contact templates. 
Once I've clicked into here and the page has loaded, you will be able to see a full list of templates that have already been created in the system. I'd like to use my search bar at the top today to locate my owner login email. Once the email appears, we can simply click on the name, which will take us to a view of the template. You'll note down that the available for section is listed as owners, which means that is where we're able to send it to within the new book system. Moving below, we then have the body content, which is exactly what the owners are going to receive when we send this to them. The most important areas that I've pre-filled within this template are listed in this section here. You'll see I've inserted the owner login link using an insert field. I've also used an insert field for the username, which will pull through each owner's email address. Lastly, within the password section, I've actually pre-filled a generic password because all my owners have been set up with the exact same one to be used as the initial or temporary password. Within this email, I've also advised them that once they log in under the temporary password, they will need to ensure they select the owner profile button to set a new password and update any other information. If you do have any further questions regarding how you can add or edit contact templates in Newbook, please do not hesitate to reach out to our support team for some further information. However, as I've already had this particular template set up, we're now able to use it to send to our owners. Using our menu search in the top left, we're going to search and locate our owners. Once we've clicked into here and the page has loaded, we're going to see a list of existing owners that have already been set up. Using the tick boxes on the left, I'm going to select all three owners, and with these three selected, I'm going to send contact. Once I click into here, it's going to take us to our contact send page where it pulls through each owner and their email contact information, where underneath within the contact template section, I'm able to search and select my owner login email. It will pull through the existing content from the template where all I need to do is then select send email and it will take us back to our owners page with a success message advising each email was sent to each owner successfully. If I'd like to see the specific email that was sent for Rebecca King, I can click into her owner name from here and you'll notice within the contact tab, it shows us anything that we have actually sent through to her. We can click straight into our tentative owner login detail email to preview exactly what was sent. And you'll notice within here, we have our link that's generated to take Rebecca directly to the online login page. If you'd like to, we can right click on this link and open in a new tab. And if we click into the tab at the top, this is the page that Rebecca will be taken into. She'll then need to ensure she enters the email and password details that we provided to her within the owner login email. As I've now shown you how to send an email to all owners with their login details, I'd like to take a look at the owner login page itself to show you exactly what displays in this area and what your owners have access to. Once the owner has entered their email and password details, all they need to do is select the login button. If their details are correct, they'll then be taken to their owner login screen. We're currently viewing the front desk, which shows them some shortcuts to areas they have access to, and it also gives them a weather forecast for where their property is located. When we enabled Rebecca for owner login access, we advised that she was able to view existing bookings, update her owner profile, and also view any correspondence and statements. Therefore, we have these three options available here. If she'd like to view all bookings for her property, we can click on the booking button here, and it will load any booking relating to the property that she owns. You will be able to see that you can filter by the particular booking status. Therefore, if you'd like to view all bookings, you'll see a full list with their status, the property she owns, and the dates of their stays. To go back, we simply click the front desk and it takes us back to this screen here. If we'd like Rebecca to update her password or any guest details for when she makes owner bookings, she's able to click on the owner profile button here and make adjustments to those details as we've allowed her to do so. As an example, I'm going to update her street address here and underneath I'm also going to set a new password and verify it so she has her own secure login access to the owner login page. 
Once we're happy with those, we select save and it updates her owner profile successfully. If she would like to view any correspondence, we can also click on this button here and it's going to show all emails that we've sent through to her. For those of you who do have SMS or text messaging available, you will also be able to click to see any SMS or guest assist app messages. If Rebecca would like to make an owner booking to come and stay at her property, she can simply use the new booking button at the top of the page. Once she clicks into here, it's going to load our booking page, but you will notice it's only displaying one style of accommodation, which is the property that she owns. You'll notice that below, it says she can book in for $0 per night, which indicates that we have set up a contract for her, which allows her to make owner bookings where we don't charge her a nightly rate or a nightly tariff. However, for those of you who still charge each owner a nightly rate or tariff to come and stay, please note the pricing will appear in this section. If she'd like to go through and make a booking, all she does is select book now, where it takes her straight to the checkout page with her guest details pre-filled. She can add a comment. Otherwise, all she needs to do is tick the terms and conditions and place the booking. That brings us to the end of our video tutorial today on the owner login feature. I hope you've learned some handy tips and tricks and we look forward to seeing you in our next video tutorial.